It does look like Pac-Man. It looks like somebody took a bite out of a cookie. <laughs> a historic day as millions across the country experienced the first total solar eclipse to sweep coast to coast in 99 years. Around 1.30 p.m., the moon blotted out the sun for a couple of minutes. The coast to coast total eclipse appears to be the most observed, most studied, and most photographed eclipse ever. Now, we do have team coverage across the mid-state, but let's start with News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen, who's at the First Tennessee Park. And, Jesse, this really was an exciting afternoon. A very exciting afternoon, but a stressful one as well. People from all over the world traveled here to Nashville and came to the official Nashville watch party for the eclipse, but there were clouds in the sky. Luckily, people were still able to get a glimpse of the total eclipse through the clouds. Once again, Nashville is the center of the universe. If there's one thing Nashville knows how to do, it's how to throw a party, whether that be for locals or 8,000 people from all around the world. Hotels are full, the flights coming in and out of Nashville completely, you couldn't even get a flight in and out of here. And we expect over a million visitors. So that economic impact will be very amazing. We had people buy tickets from 35 different states and 10 different countries today just for this event. But today wasn't about economics and it wasn't about the money. It was about watching nature do its thing. You see a crescent moon and one of the moon forms, but the moon is it's actually the sun this time. It's like they're switching places for a day. From the moment the eclipsing started until reaching totality, people couldn't keep their eyes off the sky. It's all this excitement has been really an awesome experience. And when it was all said and done, with the total eclipse breaking its way through the clouds, people couldn't help but stand in awe and be impressed by what Mother Nature provided, turning day to night to day once again. It's just a crazy, like I feel like I went to sleep and I'm like woke back up again and it's a new day. It's something many will never forget, providing a once in a lifetime experience and providing an emotional experience for those in attendance, including Mayor Barry. With the last three weeks that I've had, I just felt grateful and um, and very touched. Now, thousands of people left First Tennessee Park happy, while thousands more actually came back for the Sounds game. And let me tell you, I wish there were eclipses more often for the Sounds sake. They're up 7 to nothing. They have never trailed on a day where Nashville has been in a total eclipse. How about that? But it will be a day that everyone remembers. Live in Nashville, Jessica Knudsen, News Channel 5.